Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. I want to give a hat tip real quick, Charles, to J.J. Watt before the possession switches here. Walter Payton, NFL Man of the Year. They totaled up how much he helped raise for hurricane relief, $37 million. Incredible. Hurricane Harvey, which really hit the Houston area in a big way, and his original goal was $200,000. So <laughs> congratulations to J.J. Watt and all the people who participated. And Greg Olson of the Panthers, Benjamin Watson of the Ravens, both tight ends also nominated and finalist for the most prestigious award as determined by the NFL, the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. On second down, here's Newton. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And give him nine yards on the second down screen play. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now Newton. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and then just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Yeah, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at about the 14. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And that will come the offense as they take over. And the Rams getting set to go now. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. On first down, gone. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Mario Addison. Able to use that strength and get him for a loss of two. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Watch the backfield. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and 12. Goff now looking to throw. And he's going to go down again. Julius Peppers in there to drop him and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Here's Goff. This is complete to Watkins on the slant. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A gain of 19 on third and 18, and that'll move the chains. On first and 10, Goff, buying time to his left. Now left, he's got it to Everett. Touchdown, Allen! 
Gerald Everett, 42 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from, but for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Cam trying to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats, but really should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The Panthers on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 11. Here's Newton. And he gets it to punch his complete. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So here we go, first and ten now. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Cam trying to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Second down following the run. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here's Newton now on second down. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. To the interception, here's Gall. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Daryl Worley. And he will be brought down. His time has now run out on this first half of action. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. On second down, here's Goff. Escaping the pressure right. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one goes for 24 yards. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Goff on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, a big hit right at the line of scrimmage. Luke Keekley combines speed, intelligence, toughness, puts it all together. It makes plays like one we just saw there. He may not be a big-time blitzer, but, boy, he knows how to pursue straight ahead and make plays in the run game. Hey, two kills! Back to throw, gone. And this is caught by Watkins. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Goff to Watkins for a Rams first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Now a first down throw, gone. Flushed out right, and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. The throw on second down is gone. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. So they're operating in the red zone. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Again, they run with Gurley. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Now a handoff for Gurley. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. 
Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Goff and his guys not coming off the field. They're going for this. They're running with Gurley, and he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Panthers will get the football back. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. See if they stay on the ground for a second down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Back now in Los Angeles as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Golf now to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Now golf. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And the offense lining up first and 10. Goff now looks to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Star Latulale able to swap him from that defensive tackle spot for a loss of five. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. Now gone. And the pressure gets to him again. Shaq 
Thompson in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Here's Goff. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Julius Peppers in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Yeah, he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Newton now to throw. Fighting through, and he's got space. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? Ball spotted at the four. It's second and goal. Gurley. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. This offense so far on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and goal. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. The Rams on third down, two for five to this point. They're looking at a third and goal here. Now it's gone. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. It's the pro bowler, Luke Kinkley, that picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on it and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Cam trying to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. So many screen passes are the result of excellent acting by everyone. But sometimes the guy who's getting the ball tips the play off. <laughs> the running back, because he's, he's eager to get the pass. But sometimes he doesn't act very well about whether he's going to block or leak out or whatever. And I think that they saw that, and that's why they were able to get to him on it. Here's Newton. Got his target, Samuel. And he's able to get this one up to the 45-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. On 
First down, it's Newton. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. From the gun, here's Newton. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 36, and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Cam trying to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. Newton. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. My high school coach, John Ford, used to say all the time, if you're in a bad situation, laddie, don't compound it with a bad decision as well. And I think that's what we just saw there. Harassed in the pocket. And he throws him the double coverage anyway. He called you Laddie? He called me Laddie, and that was the nicest thing he called me. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So the offense has it first and 10. They go play action here on first down. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Alec Ogletree, and he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. now. Go off. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Mike Adams. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Toss. This is McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Oh, partner. That play brought back memories. Watching them string it out, letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. And one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, it took a little more time off the clock, making him do it that way, didn't they? And that one falls incomplete. And now, look at the clock. Only seven seconds remain. The Panthers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is going to be third and 13. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. I don't know about you, partner, but I'm rubbing my eyes.
You're getting way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got. Kick up the you. Man, know that I kick up the you. Then why they try to stop the truth? How dare you to stop the truth? Look, you're getting way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size toes on my feet. Your face ain't big for my boots. Kick up the you. Man, know that I kick up the you. Then why they try to stop the truth? How dare you to stop the truth? When I come round there like a bad boy, do it. Run all the talking, go on and do it. Running through the party, but look, but look. Those are my ears saying storms, don't do it. Double on my shoulder, I don't lack. Hit with a business, I don't scrap. Even when I'm far, I'm so used to ride, but there's no car and no match. What are you talking about? Clown, stand down. Never had a thing, never had a pound. You were never bad then, you ain't bad now. Never had them, had them then. Look, look back down. Wait, I saw bear kicks, saw bear clothes. Said not that, I can't wear those. I don't like them, they're not my thing. They went silent, they're all weirdos. Like, yeah, storms don't clear. Never had a Tom Ford or a Montclair. Man, them a calm, but you see my done there. Tell them don't do it, don't dare. Don't care who you know from my block. You're not Al Capone, Al Capone. They, they can take my car and my crepes. I still do the road in my socks. Like, who's gonna stop me? You, him, him, little man. I got blue slims. Don't be an idiot. Move smart. I've been killing it. New king, king. You were not ready for my new stuff. You're a boy by yourself. Go and group up. And when crep went states for the BTs, I was covering crep like a boot cut. If mad, it's a family thing. Straight family thing. Dumb man, I broke no salary thing. Had a young team called Amy telling me to come round hers on a Valerie thing. Hashtag murky. Academy thing, you were like art and the gallery thing. Don't boy there wanna chat about bars, wanna chat about chat about bop, bop. You're getting way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size toes on my feet. Your face ain't big for my boots. Kick up the you. Man, know that I kick up the you. Then why they try to stop the truth? How dare you to stop the truth? Look, I'm too hot. I got money in my shoebox. I'm the man of the house when my show sold out like the brother from the boondocks. Beat swan in my boombox. Everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Anticipation is bouncing for today's game, and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's Newton's Panthers going up against Jared Goff's Rams. Thank you very much, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL, the National Football League, is here and on the air. The City of Angels showing it can be loud and raucous. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad emerged from the tunnel. They're ready for football and ready to watch their Rams do battle with the Carolina Panthers. And they'll start in a hole here as he's brought down at the 11-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go. Red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. They'll run. This is Jonathan Stewart. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They've got to turn things around and figure this out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game getting the ball, 0-0 zero, zero is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, you're already down a touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he probably should have stayed in the end zone as he'll muster a return up to only the 14-yard line.
Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Here's Newton. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams' defense. Dominic Easley able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of a yard. Now Newton being chased out left. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Dominic Easley in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and the punt team will now come out on fourth down. I like what they were thinking on defense. Just guard the first down sticks. Don't let anyone pass that. Didn't matter whether they threw it or ran it. They just ended up rallying to the football on the running play and stopped them short of a first down. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Taken in at the 22. 12 yards on the return that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. first and that'll make it second down when you find that kind of yardage you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier and guess what you're gonna go back and tell your offensive coordinator i'd like to keep carrying it thank you another carry now for Gurley, and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48 it's a nine yard gain and it keeps the drive moving Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Now a play fake here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Julius Peppers in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Second down. And now a fumble. The ball's out. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. <laughs> To throw is gone. And he's going to go down again. Julius Peppers getting him once again. His third sack of the afternoon. So the Rams call on Johnny Hecker here to punt it away on fourth down. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? 
because you had two, two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. That's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Newton on third down. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Newton to Olsen there for a Carolina first down. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Two yards on the pick out there. It'll be second and eight. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Dominic Easley able to disrupt yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Newton to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Aaron Donald. He's the one to get him this time. And back-to-back -back sacks are going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer. Create space for our runners. And let's go ahead and get these guys. Low. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Thomas Davis. And he'll be brought down around the seven-yard line. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. The pigskin on the seven-yard line now. It's first and goal shift together here from the D-line. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive... And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great effort there. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. 
And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Second and ten, golf again. Flush to his right. <laughs> and the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. Here's Johnny Hacker now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. This is taken at the 23. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Now the Panthers' offense, they get set to come back onto the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now that play was doomed right from the start. He just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. To throw on second down is Newton. Looking for Funches, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38, and his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively. Not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking for the guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Goff now looking to throw, and almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. Time running out here on the play clock. Here's goal. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Shaq Thompson not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. A 
And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. <laughs> a big hit. Knocked down sideways at the 41-yard line. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. There's Newton now on second down. And Olsen over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. down inside the 40 to the 39. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Escaping the pressure right, and incomplete there. A nice hit, jars the ball free, and brings up third down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Third and two, Newton. And they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be knocked down sideways at the 44-yard line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. First down, gone. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Shaq Thompson in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. The throw on second down is gone. Out left, he's got it to Everett. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. The Rams on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and seven. Complete to Watkins. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. 
They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Here we go. It's Gurley. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Now gone. He's going to float this one deep right side. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. The name of the game is always on defense, put pressure on the quarterback. And that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL. On EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. And five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. It's Gurley. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it. He loses it. Somehow, the ball finds its way back to him. Atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Tough day. 
tough sledding right there and has been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. So the D-line's going to spread out. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. They'll try the air now with Newton. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Aaron Donald in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. <laughs> out kicked his coverage there 48 yard punt but 10 on the return and the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10 the 40. A good pick up there, a 22. Fresh set of downs here. <laughs> Goff now looks to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. K1 short in there with pressure yet again, and that's the seventh time they've dropped him here this afternoon. <laughs> Offense needs something here on second down. It is second and long. to throw. Gone. Dancing to his left. Under pressure again and down he goes again. Mario Addison in there to drop him and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. Maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. From the gun, here's Goff. 
And this is caught by Watkins. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 23 yards on the play. So here we go, first and 10 now. Goff now to throw. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 more on that one and another first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. That time trying to find Gerald Everett, and that'll bring up second down. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Back to the air. Golf on second down. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Julius Peppers. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Play clock winding down. Third and long, it's gone. And this is going to be incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. So points so crucial in a tight game like this, but this kick off the goalpost, and that'll keep the score right where it is. Yeah, it wouldn't have made this a two-score game, but any cushion this late definitely would have helped. Now they need to ask their defense for another stop, and that's going to require some work. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 34. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have had the receivers on lockdown. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Now golf on first down. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Star Latulale. Busting through to get him for a loss of six. Goff now on second down. Eluding the pressure right. We're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. Touchdown, L.A. Derek Carrier, 34 yards. And thanks to the interception, the Rams offense cashes in for six. And he's able to put it through.
Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Oh, look at the juice. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. On the catch, this is Russell Shepard. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Well, it certainly appears that the big guys up front have taken charge of the line of scrimmage. Two really nice plays back to back. But on the defensive side of the ball, there shouldn't be any despair. Okay, they've got us a couple of times here. Hang in there, keep your composure, and try and figure it out for the next play. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Gives off to Stewart. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. I'm ready now for second and nine. Accepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Tremaine Johnson. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Two for 60, two for one. Like 54, here we go. Like 20. After the interception, here's Golf. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. with Gurley. Now gone. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by James Bradbury. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. This is such a good read defensively. They know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at him. And this one winds up being intercepted. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Flush to his right. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Snags it for the pick, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. 
Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing it. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. On second and ten, gone. Escape, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. A shotgun snap for Goff. And he fires one, but incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Fielded at the 20. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Carolina getting set to take the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. He sets to fire deep. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. To throw is Newton. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Throwing on third down, Newton. That's complete to Whitaker. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. And now a first down following that long game. Now it's Newton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. John Johnson with the INT. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. James Bradbury and he will bring this one back it's a pick six for a Panther touchdown 
Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. So just over 90 seconds to play, and this would figure to be about as critical as it gets here. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. And they just about had to get that recovery to have any chance. They only have one timeout. You look at the clock. Now let's do the math here, Charles. This, this one's pretty much over. Yeah, we do have a chart here, don't we, that tells us about the timeouts. You do. I'm not as smart as you. And, and, and in looking at it, you're exactly right. Chart's not going to help them here at all. They're pretty much done at this stage. They had to have that recovery. Inside the 40 to the 39. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And yes, home is where the heart is. And for Robert Woods, it's Los Angeles. He played college football at USC right here in this stadium. Man, probably feels comfortable out there. He was an All-American as a Trojan in 2011. Yeah, really trained to be an NFL player. I mean, he watched a lot of NFL cut-ups and tapes of wide receivers while he was in college before joining him on the stage. Now it's gone. It's incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Now gone. Going deep here for Watkins. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to do, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. Hey, kill, kill. Hey. Like it was ours, ours, ours. Here we go on fourth. Gone. And no, it's incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Panthers will get the football back. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful, not so far in this game. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting to run. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Cam trying to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back right there at the 43. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and six. They'll look to throw. It's caught. Shepard. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And the inaugural carry here for Fonzie Whitaker. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Brandon, they likely have time for one last play, but it's got to be a heave into the end zone. Anything short, no good for them. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done.
A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. One last throw here for Newton. Got his target, Samuel. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Well, going into the... Like the way it sounds, Freddy? Let me breathe for a minute, man. Just let me breathe. Just let me breathe for a minute, man. Just let me breathe for a minute. Just let me breathe. Lay back, fire like dragon. Man, I'm flying past Saturn. Out of here like I ain't that savage. Two. It's like I'm at the studio with Michael. You can hear me dancing on the beat. Bam, bam, about to put a mansion on the beach. I, hundred Latins in your lobby. That's what happens when you're you around with body. Uh, and I put that with my mommy. I will never give my heart to a two-pack. I just make a dance that goes with this song. Then I'ma be on. Basic going dance to it. Basic everywhere going dance to it. Just let me breathe for a minute. Just let me breathe for a minute. I, just let me breathe for a minute. White Range Rover. Let me breathe for a minute. Just let me breathe for a minute, man. Just let me breathe for a minute. White Range Rover. Ball in it. You got it. Baby, shake that. Shake that. Shake that. You got to Baby, shake that. Shake that. I got two shows, I'm about to pitch another Throwing alley-oops to my brothers We all shine, nobody victims I'm on these sweatsuits, black pippins I swag different, that's why the money in the bag different Come up short, you'll have your fam I lay on beaches and swerving whips You ain't serving, you just an urban myth Everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Newton's Panthers going up against Jared Goff's Rams. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Who said the crowds wouldn't embrace football being back in L.A.? You certainly couldn't tell that by what we saw a few moments ago. These folks are pumped up as their Rams get set to do battle with Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. But conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go. Red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Now a first carry for Jonathan Stewart. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Just a... Yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Then after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Two times, two times. 
first carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guy... Blitz coming, and down he goes. Alec Ogletree with a big-time sack on third down, and it'll be a loss of seven. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And it's fielded at the 34. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. Goff now looking to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll get him to the ground, but he got all the way down to the 30-yard line. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Goff now looks to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. To throw on second down is gone. Now left, he's got it to Everett. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. From the red zone now, gone. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl of Luke Kinkley that picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Newton on first down. Throw left side complete. It's Shepard. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Second down now after the pass completion. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Back 
Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got, to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free, and make the hit on the runner. He filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. First down, it's Newton. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. it inside the 25. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. the red zone now. Newton looking left side and he's got a man. That's Shepard. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. 10 yards on the pick up there and it'll be second down. play as Newton gives to McCaffrey and he's able to work it here to the eight yard line just a gain of a yard but it's going to set him up with a first and goal I think they like this drive a little bit better there partner running game helping out picking up some of the slack because remember the last drive they went three and out from the gun here's Newton Free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. A long drive here, play 12 coming up for the offense. Here's Newton now on second down. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. McCaffrey. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. There are certain drives in the game where anything less than a touchdown that caps it feels like an absolute disappointment. This is one of those drives. On fourth down, Newton. And my goodness, this is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Rams defense comes up with a goal line stand. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you. A huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points. Stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. Look three, look three, look three. 
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. First and ten, gone. This is complete to Watkins on the slant. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. On first down, it's gone. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Mario Addison in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Here's Goff now on second down. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. 23 yards on the play. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. down it's Gurley oh he's got some breathing room and he gets this inside the 35 yard line another big hitter there this one good for 18 first down now but that clock rolling Gurley again here on first down And this time they're able to bottle him up as he'll stop him at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. On second down, here's Goff. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Mario Addison in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. 
Carolina getting set to take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Calling no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, he rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And a potential turning point as they get the football in very good field position late in this first half. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. A final shot before break here. Golf. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Sammy Watkins as time expires in the first half. And the Rams add on to their lead. And just before the half ends, the prayer is answered defensively a disaster there. I know often we're surprised when this actually works. I mean, the excitement level goes way up, but maybe we shouldn't be because I know as a defender, you've got to play the ball in this situation, but you can't interfere with the receiver because, remember, it's a spot foul, and it'd be first and goal if it happens in the end zone, and you don't want to give up that play. And that little bit of hesitancy often works really well for offensive guys. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And an alley to run. And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. The third quarter starts with a run by Gurley. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. with Gurley. Now gone. He's going to let this one go deep. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown LA. Sammy Watkins his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams add on to their lead. And oh, it's no good on the PAT. So they can't add on here. And our score is going to stay right where it is. Zerline out now to kick this one away. Fozzie Whitaker now on the return. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. 
And it's third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Kayvon Webster. And his guys will set up shot at midfield at the 50-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Here's Gaw. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now Goff on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Sammy Watkins from 21 yards away. And thanks to the interception, the Rams offense cashes in for six. And that stretches the lead to 27. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And the Panthers coming out now. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. There have been no struggles here for this crew. I mean, they were up double digits at halftime, and they've just expanded that here in the second half. And it appears there are no answers from the defensive side. I think right now, if I'm the coordinator, if I'm down on the field, if I'm wearing a hat, I've already thrown it. If it's a visor, it's sailed, right? My game plan is down by my feet right now because nothing I've drawn up appears to be working. Well, he's going to have to find something right now to stop this offense. Now a first down throw, gone. Now he'll escape to his left. Brought down after a good game. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him. And he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. Check, check. 
Now a play fake here on first down. Rolling. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Look, Carolina had a number of issues last year, and that's why they slumped to 6-10 and 10 after a Super Bowl appearance. But pass rush wasn't a problem for them. They still got to the quarterback. 47 total sacks. That was just one behind Arizona, who led the league. Yeah, I think the biggest issue for them, young corners that gave up a lot of big plays. Now it's gone. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. K1 Short in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back to back plays. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. And the play clock's running down. Third and long. It's gone. And this one hauled in by Tavon Austin. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Despite a pickup of 16, they're still well short of the sticks on fourth. Here's Johnny Hacker now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, there's got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Greg Olson was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it. If you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves him with third and just a couple. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. The Panthers on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. 30, 10, touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. 72 yards. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. 
team for the Rams able to secure the football. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. On first down, gone. Going up top. And this is taken in at the five. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 41 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. Stretches the lead to 27. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. So he shifts past him. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Shift together here from the D-line. Now a first down throw for Newton. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey, and he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Now Newton steps away to his left. He may try and cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, saying, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. Following the fumble recovery, gone. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves his sticks. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. On first and goal, Gurley. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and goal. Here's Gaul. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's the Pro Bowler Luke Kinkley that picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? The fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other, but it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. And some room to run now. <laughs> Finding room at the 30. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Hey, 
They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Back to the air, Newton on second down. He'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And he'll lose yardage, brought down at the 32. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Here's Newton. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It's a gain of five, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. What a decision to go for it on fourth from their own territory. And it pays off. 41 yards. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Newton on first down. Forced out to his left. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Defense in a good spot. Let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now. Throwing is Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. Third and long, it's Newton. And that is incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. That looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Back to throw, Newton. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by Kayvon Webster. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. going to throw it. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. And the most curious way there to burn some clock. That was wild. And at the end of all that, it winds up a safety. All right, Charles, help me out here. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead, and you run backwards into the end zone. You're just trying to do too much. I almost don't have words for it. But you know, every coach that we talk to talks about running backs or people running the football, running north-south, getting upfield. He went way in the opposite direction, and that's going to cost his team. Yeah, it cost him big time. Still leading, but it costs him. Now following the interception, here's Newton. 
So this is what happens when you throw interceptions, that confident veneer that you have. It's chipped away a little bit, maybe a little bit gun-shy throwing it around. Yeah, under-throwing him there, and you're right. Those interceptions may be in the back of his mind. On second and ten, Newton. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Ethan Westbrooks breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. Partner, I know the ball security is preached like crazy, but every now and then you've got to know when to get rid of the football and save a little bit of yardage if you're a quarterback. Because now if you're the offensive coordinator, what does it do if it was third and ten versus third and much longer as it is now? Yeah, it changes everything in terms of play calling and the pressure you might expect to face on the very next down. Had to throw the ball away and save the yardage. He didn't get it done. Now the offense lining up first and ten. So the D-line's going to spread out. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. They'll run with McCaffrey. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. The Panthers on third down. Not getting the job done at all. A very poor one for 10. This is going to be third and 13. Here's Newton. Completes it to Dixon. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. A shotgun snap for Newton. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. One last throw here for Newton. Buying time to his left. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is going to be caught. So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types... And oh, it's blocked. It's picked up a live ball. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. He's at the 40, 20, 10, 5, and he dies into the end zone and gets the two points. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams are victorious here as we say so long from Exposition Park in L.A.